Hello everybody. I want to start this video by saying how good it is to be back filming. I had to take a break for a while due to life, but I didn't want to abandon my channel or interrupt my monthly hits and misses videos. So this is going to be a very delayed April hits and misses video and it's going to be very random. I only added one brand new item to my Pandora collection and that's inside this box right here. And as you can see, it's a blue pansy necklace. I'm pretty sure this item is on Rue La La, but Pandora had it in the last chance section with Pandora Canada online. And I was very fortunate to find this one still available. I got the last one, but every once in a while, Pandora tends to update the last chance section, usually on Thursdays and Sundays, I believe, but it seems to be a little bit random. So, as you can see, those top petals there are full of CZs, and then you have that beautiful blue enamel underneath, and the chain is just a nice open link chain like that. And then from behind, there is a tiny little leaf, and let's actually look at it the proper way. So you can see the Pandora symbol there and where the back of the CZs are to allow some light to come through. I believe that's why they do that. You've got the little leaves and then the other symbol there. But what's also another sweet little touch is see at the very end here, you've got a tiny, petite, sweet little pansy. And then there's a little leaf on the back of that one as well. And this is the clasp. And as you can tell, you can kind of link it into any of these round ones or any of these, to be honest with you and you can adjust the length of this brace of this necklace. So I am very sentimental towards the whole pansy line. It reminds me so much of my grandmother and visiting her house when I was little. And so this necklace, when I first received it, I never took it off for like a full week or two. I even showered with it, slept in it. And as you can see, it held up really well to that. And then I thought I would just quickly share with you the other pansies that I have in my collection. This is a spring summer bracelet design that I created last year or two years ago. I'm not sure. I think it was two years ago. And I love this bracelet design. It's so fun to wear. All of the different colors just makes it really lively. And it's easy. Like it's just one of those designs that just came together super quickly for me. So here I have some more of the Pansy collection. And this is the blue pansy with a little orange CZ in the center. There is some variation in the enamel work on these, like how it kind of feathers up into the petals like that. And I did hand pick this one, so really happy with this one. And then I do have the pink pansy on here. And this is my original. I did end up getting a duplicate pre-loved and I'll share that one with you soon. So you see at the very top, you can see how that little white feathers up into the darker fuchsia pink. And then they kept the orange CZ in the center and I really like that detail. And this is a pink bracelet design that I've slowly been working on. I've kind of touched it a few times this last month. I don't know if I've made any major changes to it though. But this is the pink pansy that I was mentioning that I perceived pre-loved. You can see the variation in the enamel at the top of the petal there and how they're just all a little bit different. Actually, let me put the two of these side by side. So leave me a comment below. Let me know, am I the only crazy one that likes to hand pick my enamel charms or do you just kind of accept the first one that the associate hands you? I always ask to see a couple of them and then I usually do like to hand pick them because there is a subtle variation. Next I have these pansy clips here and these I purchased online. I was so surprised to find these in the last chance section or the winter sale. I'm not sure which one but I, I would have purchased them regardless if it was 30 or 50% off. And again you've got the um, orange CZ in the center and then that beautiful pansy detail on both sides. I am starting to appreciate the rounder clips more than the barrel shape. Um, I find them really easy to design with on a bracelet. And then here is the other one that I have and this one's just a little bit lighter. You can see that the enamel, the white, is just a little bit going towards the outer edge. Well, maybe not. Actually, these are a pretty good match, but there is some variation in this enamel, like I mentioned. 
And then I have this little love letter. I call it love letter. Um, I can't remember what they originally called it. But you have the three pansies on the envelope. And I like the three different shades. And then at the back is from me to you. In the month of April, I also purchased a pre-loved bracelet. It was such a good price. I just couldn't resist. And so this is the dirty bracelet that it came. And as you can see, it is tarnished and it does need some cleaning, especially in some areas here, it's sturdier than others. The camera is probably making it look better than it does in real life. And then I pulled off all of the charms that were included on this bracelet. And as you can see, there are a lot of older retired charms on here. And we'll start with the Muranos. And here's the captivating Murano in that light shade of blue with the gray and that one is so pretty. And then this one here is, um, I believe it's just called Flowers, and it's one of Pandora's oldest Muranos that they first came out with, and it's a very simple design. It also had some birthday blooms on this bracelet. I do love the older birthday blooms that Pandora did, especially because they use gemstones. So I wanna say this is June, because it does look like the gray moonstone. This looks like July, the carnelian, and then I think these are both the garnet for January because they're a little bit more clear. And then I have the S-clip. I have a pair of these that came on the bracelet. I think these are called S-clip. Um, maybe Pandora changed it to swirl clip, I'm not sure. And then I got a dogwood clip, and this one I was especially fond of. The whole price of the bracelet was worth just this dogwood clip. And I like how it has that swirl pattern on the base of the clip there. And then you've got that beautiful cutout flower with a pink CC in the center. And then the back is still really nice. And this is the last of the four charms that were included on this bracelet. So you have the little bow spacer right there. Then we have the flowers for you, or I can't remember what this one is called, but look at the little bouquet of flowers in the little pot and then that is 14 karat gold with love on it and then that is the back with the hallmark there and this was one of the more affordable two-tone charms that pandora had back in the day i believe in canada it was like 55 dollars back then and then i want to say this is garnet i don't have many of these little um, dangle gemstones that pandora did and I want to say this is the garnet one. And then I have the teacup. And you can see the hallmark at the bottom. And it's a little more oxidized at the top. I originally had this charm in my collection and then I did sell it. So this one has made its way back to me. So having said that, I have no idea what I'm going to be doing with these charms. I'm sure they'll find a home eventually. If not, I might part with them or gift them. but. Especially thrilled with this dogwood clip. Like I said, the whole price of the bracelet was worth just this dogwood clip. And who doesn't love two tones? And what hit and misses video wouldn't be complete without showing you yet another version of my Winnie the Pooh bracelet. So I've kind of accepted that this bracelet will always maybe keep changing. Maybe I never will find a permanent design but I was a little bit inspired by springtime and I really like these little petite facets in green. They're a really pretty shade of green. So I thought I would just put them together on this bracelet. Um, here is that little bow that I showed you in my last month's video and I combined in my Winnie the Pooh charms. This wasn't what I originally thought I would be doing with the Winnie the Pooh charms. I'll show you that bracelet coming up next. And I believe this is the Primrose open work. Um, I just wanted to show you how sometimes Pandora's lighter enamel does change color over time. I don't know if this used to be a light pink or a white. I think it was light pink, but it's kind of going a little bit more yellow. And I was okay with that with this bracelet design. And then, of course, here is Tigger and the Sun. And we've got Eeyore. And we've got Tigger again. And then here is that... Um, that two-in-one charm, true friends are a rare gift, and I thought that was so applicable to this bracelet with the Winnie the Pooh characters, because they really are true friends. And I used quieter clips on here because I didn't want the clips to really stand out, and I didn't want too many CZs on this design. Um, here is the new little uh, piglet 
and this one throws me off a little bit because of the Pandora Rose. And the Winnie the Pooh um, that I'm using is this one here in the Honey Pot. And then I have this little older charm here. I uh, can't remember the name of this one. It's got a little flower dangle, this little button charm. And I thought this was a nice match to this little primrose over here. I thought these two went really well together. And there is an inscription on the back that says, let your dreams blossom. And then I just put a clip at the end because this is an open work and it would just kind of fly off the bracelet. So this is the updated version of my Winnie the Pooh design that I'm wearing for springtime. And leave me a comment below. Let me know your thoughts on this one. So I originally thought I would be adding the Winnie the Pooh charms to this bracelet design in place of some of these busier CZ charms over here and just kind of randomly placing them amongst this design. But it just didn't quite work and I don't know why, but maybe I'll show you in a future video, but you're probably so tired of my Winnie the Pooh characters at this point. So this bracelet design here, I've made a few changes to it. A lot of these charms are from last year's release and I really did enjoy last year's release a lot um, but it's kind of blingy to be honest when I'm wearing this one outside so right what I used to have were these two feather Muranos were right here in place of these pave daisies in blue and then here is the feather clips and then in the center I had a bouquet charm and that's this charm right here. It's such a beautiful charm. So I originally had this one right in the center. And like I mentioned, the two feather Muranos were on either side. And so I was making a few changes to this bracelet because I was doing a debate picking up a third of these Muranos and just having three on here. And maybe eventually that's what I will do, but I'm kind of waiting for another promo to be honest with you. Let me know in the comments below what you think about this design. Do you think that these teal daisies match this feather Murano well? And is this bracelet too blingy? I'm not sure. I'm kind of on the fence about this one. But one thing I am super excited about is this little feather charm over here and this little lizard. They're going to be getting some friends soon in the upcoming collection. So in this catalog here, you can see that blue curved feather for $55. And then on the other side, we have the green Monstera leaves charm, and that one's for $50. And turning the page, here is that little frog that I was telling you about. Isn't it adorable? And in Canada, it's going to be $45 as well. So that is my April Hits and Misses video. And thank you so much, everybody, for all of my new subscribers and everybody that left me comments. I'm slowly going to be working my way through the comments. And I really do appreciate everybody keeping in touch with me. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. I hope you're all doing well. Take care. Bye-bye.